Spreadsheets are a great place to start for managing small business accounting. However, as you grow, your accounts become more complex. So shifting over to an accounting software like Xero is vital. As a business owner, using an accounting platform like Xero will save you time and money down the track by offering dynamic reports, automatic account reconciliation, invoicing, billing, and extensive integrations with other business software that you use. So my focus today is to share how you can migrate and import your spreadsheet accounting data over to Xero so you can seamlessly start managing all your accounting activities inside Xero. All right, so with that quick intro out of the way, let's go ahead and get stuck into this Xero tutorial. Firstly, before I show you how to shift your business from spreadsheets over to Xero, what exactly is Xero and why is it ideal for small businesses? Well, if you're unfamiliar with Xero, basically it's an all-in-one cloud-based accounting solution. Its main value add for small business is the ability to manage finances efficiently by way of automating many day-to-day -day accounting tasks. Xero is easy to use and you can get started in minutes to better manage and organize your accounting activities. If you're interested in a visual overview of how small businesses can use Xero, what I'll do is link a Xero tutorial down below in the description that you can check out following this video. Today, as I mentioned, I'll walk you through migrating and importing your accounting data from spreadsheets over to Xero. Most likely you jumped into this video because you're sick of managing your accounting data via manual and often very messy spreadsheet input. So I'm gonna help make your life a whole bunch easier with Xero. We'll briefly look at getting started and the setup process. Then we'll We'll look at setting up, adding and editing your chart of accounts. Then we'll dive into importing important account data from your spreadsheets into Xero. This includes your contacts, bills, sales and more. Okay, so to get started with Xero for free, if you currently do not have a Xero account, simply head over to your browser and type in Xero.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. This link will also give you a hefty discount and an extended free trial. Simply navigate over here to claim your discount and try Xero for free. After signing up to Xero, you'll be taken inside your Xero dashboard. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'll be leveraging a demo account. Now, just quickly, I wanna say a big thank you to Xero for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel. I've personally been using multiple Xero accounts across my different businesses over the last five years. So for me, I jumped at the opportunity when Xero asked to partner with us. Again, thank you Xero for sponsoring this video. First, to properly set up your Xero account, we want to first jump into settings. Navigate up to your account and then click on settings. Navigate over to organization details, add your business logo, ensure that your business details are added in here correctly. Once you've done this, hit save, click cancel. Under users, here you can add your users to your organization. Those that can help manage your accounts and account activities like day-to-day -day reconciliation. And then simply manage the currencies that your business uses. If we navigate over to features, here you can set up key features. You don't have to do this right away, you can always come back and set up this later. For example, setting up your branding for your invoices, documents and other services, setting up how you manage and collect payments, as well as email templates and more. Okay, let's navigate back over to our dashboard and let's jump into setting up our chart of accounts. Navigate over to accounting and then locate chart of accounts under advanced. We want to make sure that our accounts are set up correctly. Here we can see default accounts. We can simply edit these existing accounts and simply make changes under edit account details. If you make any changes, come down and click on save. So take your time to navigate through the different account categories. You can also navigate up here and manually add an account. Simply add your account details here. Let's close out of this. So again here, you can add, delete, and manage all your different accounts. Now, as mentioned, the purpose of this tutorial is import our data from a spreadsheet into Xero. So let's say we have a spreadsheet tab that has all our accounts and we want to import this data into Xero. Well, to do that, we first need to navigate up to import. And this process is not only for businesses that manage their accounting with spreadsheets, but also if you have an old accounting system and you've imported those accounts as a CSV file from your previous accounting system. Navigate over to example files and click on the chart of accounts CSV file template that is relevant to you. These may look different on your system depending on the location that you're in. Okay, so I've downloaded the CSV file and I've opened up Google Sheets. Let's import that chart of accounts template. I'm going to navigate up to file and navigate down to import. Feel free to use Google or Excel depending on the spreadsheet file that you prefer. I'm going to navigate up to upload, browse and locate the template and click on open and then import data. Okay, so here we have default accounts, 
all of this is default data. The columns with the asterisks up here, these are required fields. So you must input data in here. And essentially what we wanna do is complete this template with our existing spreadsheet data. So ideally what we wanna do is jump into the spreadsheet that has all our accounting data that you've either imported from a previous accounting system or that you've been using to manage your accounts and to ensure the formatting is correct, we simply want to copy and paste that data into this template. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside my Google Sheets accounting template for my business, Cindio Media. Under chart of accounts, you can see I have my chart of account details. Now, before I import this data or copy this data over to the template that we downloaded from Zero, change the formatting to ensure this data matches the downloaded template you got from Zero. Okay, so I'm going to do that now and copy this data from my spreadsheet, which I've been using to manage my accounts over into the template I downloaded. Okay, so I've copied the data. I'm going to special paste and values only. Okay, so I've added my unique codes and names for my accounts, allowing me to better manage my accounts inside Zero. Then under type, Zero has a list of account types that you can use in here. I'll add a link down below in the description for you to see all the different account types that Zero has. Make sure the spelling is correct. Then add the tax rate. Now this tax rate must be set up in your organization inside Zero. Again, I'll add a link down below that will share more about default tax rates and adding them into your account. This will all be based on your region, the country that you're in. And these other columns are not essential. However, again, if you're interested in learning more about these different column types, I'll link a resource down below in the description. Okay, once you've added all your data to this Xero template, navigate up to File, then Download, and Comma Separated Values CSV. Then back inside Xero, select Xero, then navigate down and select if the file that you're importing has account balances. That's a no for us. Then add the file you just downloaded. Navigate down to Import, see the additions and changes that have been made, and when you're happy with this, click on Confirm. And you'll see the new accounts that you just added down here and ready to use. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. Okay, we've successfully added and imported our chart of accounts. Now, what about other important accounting data like transactions, invoices, contacts, and other accounting information from spreadsheets? Well, for example, what we can do is navigate over to contacts and click on all contacts, and then navigate over to these three dots and click on import. Navigate down to download template, and open up that template inside Excel or Google Sheets, similar to how I showed you with chart of accounts. Now the only required field when importing contacts is the contact name. Everything else you can leave blank or you can add these details later inside of Xero. Okay, so here's an example of a spreadsheet I use for managing contacts. I want to import this data into Xero. Similar to chart of accounts and the process I showed you, we want to copy this data and paste it into the Xero template that we downloaded. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the columns line up and paste my contacts details over. Okay, so once you've added all those details, you've pasted the data across. Again, take your time to go through all these different columns and copy and paste over the contacts details. I'm happy with this data for now, so let's go ahead and download this file as a CSV file. Then back inside Xero, navigate down to Upload Contacts and select that file. Then navigate down on Importing Existing Contacts, Empty Fields Will, I want these to be ignored, and then click on Next. Then if you see something like this, it means you have duplicate names and you want to go back into that file and ensure all your data is correct, you have no duplicates before importing again. Then you'll see this import summary if your file is updated correctly. Come down, click on Complete Import and all your contacts will be added here where you can manage those contacts. Now what about importing business transactions? Similar to the process I just showed you, navigate up to business and navigate down to bills, purchase orders, invoices, or even sales. For example, let's click on sales overview and then click on import. And similar to the process I just showed you, go ahead and download this template file. And again, that's going to download a sales invoice template. And like I just showed you, you want to jump into the template, the spreadsheet template CSV file that you downloaded from your old accounting system or that you use to manage your accounts, your sales, and you want to copy and paste the data across into this template. Again, you must add data under the columns that have asterisks, contact name, invoice number, invoice date, due date, description, quantity, unit amount, account code, and tax type. 
However, it's as simple as that to get started with Xero by importing your different accounts, bills, purchase orders, sales invoices, contacts, and your accounts directly into Xero. Now, if you're interested in learning the exact step-by-step -step process for importing all the different types of accounts, transactions, and accounting data into Xero, I will add all relevant tutorials down below in the description. I'll also add a link down below that will show you how to import your transactions from your bank into Xero. The great thing with Xero is you can integrate your bank feed, meaning that your transactions will automatically be added inside your Xero account for reconciliation. Again, I'll add all those relevant import tutorials down below in the description. The next step following this video is to learn the different areas inside your Xero account, how you can customize your dashboard, generate reports, reconcile transactions, generate invoices, and more. If you're interested in learning how to do all this with Xero, again, I will link my full Xero tutorial down below in the description. So make sure to check this out to get the most out of Xero. And there we have guys, that is it for this brief Xero tutorial showing you how to migrate your data from spreadsheets over to Xero. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.